I'm very excited. We almost finished decorating our apartment and I'm very excited because it's been years since I last fully decorated my home. It's tough for me with ADHD and OCD, I guess. <laughs> Sounds, sounds funny, but it, it's always been my biggest dream for the past years to finally have my, my home finished and cozy. And now it seems like I'm, I'm getting it all done, guys. I love this painting. It's, it has such a relaxing vibe. Waking up to it in the morning is just waking up in Paris. <laughs> I think I might have to glue it on the wall, even though it's it's a little big and heavy and I really hope it's not gonna fall down. <laughs> I definitely want to vlog more again, like just the good old cozy fairy tales vlogs. I decided to bring them back. I just had so much fun filming them. I really love doing the like the short content. As a creator, you have to go with the flow and with the trends and so Instagram reels and TikTok. They suddenly got so much more engagement and attention from the platform themselves, you know, not only from the viewers, but also the platforms pushed those short videos a lot more. We were a little bit hesitant at first to even make short content, but yeah, eventually we had to do it and then really got into it. It's, it's really fun and you can be so creative and just make your silly ideas happen fast. <laughs> Yeah, but I really miss vlogging. I'm gonna make sure to provide you again with just casual vlogs. By the way, I also received some comments on my on my last videos, like asking if I gained some weight, which is funny because I myself didn't really notice until I stepped on the scale and I was like, what is happening? <laughs> Yeah, so I did gain some weight over the past year. I literally think it's because I managed to reduce my stress levels so much over the past year and I worked so much on my whole mental health journey. I told you a bit more in detail about it last May, I think, after I had my huge breakdown. I think I recovered really well from it. To update you about that, I'm... I'm doing really good these days. Now I'm at a much more healthy weight for my my height, you know? Um, and my body feels so much more energized and so much more healthy. And I also think I look a bit more healthy. Don't you think? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I feel better and I think I look, I look good. Yeah. I think as long as you look in the mirror and you're like, hey, I, I look good and also most importantly you feel good like your weight is, is just a number and doesn't matter at all weight is also a thing i struggled with in the past and i used to work in the model industry for a few years back then and oh it's really not easy to deal with all the body shaming in this industry i really thought i i'd have to keep a certain weight for the longest time to be fairly attractive or you know to be worthy even and that's so unhealthy and i'm so glad i'm not in that industry anymore and i really want to encourage you to listen to your body don't listen to any beauty standards out there just know that everybody out there on social media uses filters i also use filters because like who doesn't i just think it's important to be aware of it for example right now like i have a a little smoothing filter on my on my camera you know like if you look closely you can see my makeup is not perfect and my skin is not great at all <laughs> please remember nobody's perfect we all have our flaws please trust me everybody does sometimes i receive comments saying like oh my god i, I thought you internet people didn't do this or that and i really want to tell you we're all the same i also have a lot of insecurities and flaws and problems in in everyday life so you're not different from me i'm not different from you i just happen to talk about it online <laughs> well thanks for that talk good talk
today Binks and I are gonna have a photo shooting at a photo studio and I'm very excited. I still had a voucher for this photo studio so I wanted to take some nice photos with Binks. So I actually think it's a nice idea for like a solo date, you know? I mean it's not really solo because I'm with my doggo. Hey, stop fighting! Stop fighting! What are you doing? No! No fighting, please. No fighting. Yeah, I'm excited to have a little date. Date time with my girl. Wanna go on a date, Pinsu? Wanna go on a date? Oh, Django. Django. You stay with daddy. I think it's a fun activity to do with your dog if your dog likes to do such things. <laughs> Pinks is really chill, really relaxed, so it's not gonna be a problem. Right, baby girl? Let's go, huh? Let's go! Pinks, <gasps> you're super right. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> we arrived at the studio. Pinks is ready. Ready to shoot. Say hi, Pinks. <laughs> oh, she's nervous. She's nervous. Her first model job. We're back. We're back from our shooting. Baby girl, are you tired now? She did so well, guys. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> oh my god, the pictures. They turned out incredibly. I didn't I didn't expect that at all. Like, what? <laughs> it was so hard to pick just just 10. I, I chose a package with with 10 pictures. And I think we had we had 60 pictures in total, so it was What are you doing? So it was hard to just pick 10, but yeah, I managed. <laughs> and if you want to see them, check out my Instagram. Hello? Hello, Miss. Your car warranty is about to expire and I'd like to make you some new offers. Where did you get my number? Oh, apparently you signed up on whoisyourkpopsoulmatepersonalitytest.com who then sold your personal information to a data broker, who then sold your information to an advertising company, who then provided your information to me, including your names, alias, social security number, login credentials, home address, location history, online activity, and so much more. No thanks. Goodbye. Luckily, the sponsor of today's video, Incogni, will put an end to this. Those data brokers have to remove your name from their list if you ask them to, but doing it manually would take forever. That's where Incogni comes in. Using their service, I found that my information is potentially on eight sites. Incogni will make sure that all my personal data is deleted from those lists. Use my code Farina Joe at the link in the description box to get an exclusive 60% off an annual Incogni plan. Yesterday, Jungin and I tried new fruit that we never tried before. It's called mango tea. It's amazing. <laughs> we need to find it. Must in the garbage hole, I think. I don't know where. Mm. Oh. Mm. That's not 
dry baklava, guys. It's amazing. But you definitely need something to drink with it. <laughs> it's so sweet. We're introducing May now to German food, as German as it gets. I'm on my way to the Apple store because my MacBook doesn't work anymore. It just, it just broke all of a sudden, randomly. I'm quite nervous. Probably gonna be expensive. Dango! Hi! <laughs> Dango is nervous. We're bringing him to the hairdresser for the first time today. He really needs a haircut and a bath. He hates it when we bathe him, so we're gonna try and let a professional do it. <laughs> hey, come Shetty! He knows something's wrong. Yeah, he knows. He knows what's up. I didn't vlog for so long. I think we haven't even told you about Dango yet, right? You gotta, you gotta tell them about Dango. They don't even know about Dango. You don't? We got Dango like four mm -hmm. months ago and he's a very nice boy. We saw him in an advertisement at a dog rescue site and he's from originally from Slovakia. He was looking for a home so I got him. Also we were thinking for some time that the Pingsu might be happy having a little sibling. <laughs> They're really cute together. Wow. 